Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Note. Doesn't matter if it's the Note 8, Note 9, Note 10, Note 20. I'm gonna show you how you can screen mirror wirelessly to any Roku TV, okay? The Roku TV I have right here is an Element Roku TV, but it doesn't matter. You can have a uh, on Roku TV, TCL Roku TV, Westinghouse Roku TV, and uh, so on, okay? So anyway, you can see I'm wirelessly screen mirroring here. Let me focus in on here. And first thing to note that this connection is a direct connection directly from your Samsung Galaxy Note to your Roku TV. The con connection for the screen mirror has nothing to do with the home Wi-Fi network. However, if you want to be able to um, have internet access while you're relaying it onto the TV, then you would need to be using your SIM card or be connected to a home Wi-Fi network. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to connect first. So go ahead and grab your Galaxy Note and then you want to slide down the notifications first. Oops. You just want to slide down from the top like this. And then you see a little horizontal line right here. You want to slide down again. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to look for Smart View. Mine is right here. If yours is not here on the first page, go ahead and slide over. Slide over again if it's not there. Okay, anyway, mine is right here, Smart View. So let me just go ahead and tap on that. That's basically what Samsung calls screen mirroring. And now what I'm doing is I'm looking for my Roku TV. This this one here is a um, an Element Roku TV. Oh. There it is, it just popped up, 43 inch Element Roku TV. So let me tap on that, and as soon as I tap on that, you'll get a message, start casting with Smart View. Tap on Start Now, and now give it one second, and we should get a little message that's gonna pop up down here. It says, uh, Galaxy Note 9, we'd like to cast video to your TV. You can allow where it's on right now, and then if you do that, then this message is gonna pop up every time you screen mirror, or you can always allow so this message doesn't pop up when you mirror the same phone to the uh, TV. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on allow. And now, give this one second, I'll show you what's happening. I'll show you my phone right here. I'll leave it just like this. And voila, we're already in business. So you can see here in this bottom thing here will, will disappear. But you can see we're mirroring here. Now there is a slight delay, as you can see. So it's not really advised to play any kind of like graphic intensive games or anything like that. But this is still great to show um, uh, work documents onto the TV or photos and videos uh, to your friends and family that come over to your house and whatnot. Let me show you a uh, show you a quick photo here, as you can see. And then you can go ahead and zoom in. And then if you got a bunch of photos, you can just keep sliding to show all your friends and whatnot. And I'll show you a quick video here as well. Here's a video here. Let me press on play. Hey, what's up, guys? I got a my new uh, frame pump here. Okay, so there's a video right there. Now take note that the audio was coming out from the uh, TV. However, you can also make the audio come out from the phone itself. And how you do that is, all you gotta do is slide down notifications again. And now once you're connected, you'll have another thing down here. It says audio output under smart things. So if I tap on that, tap on the down arrow right there, and you can see right now the audio is gonna be coming out of my uh, Element Roku TV. However, if I tap down here, now it's going to come out of my Galaxy Note phone, okay? So just take note. And if you guys want to go ahead and disconnect, just slide down notifications again, and then slide down again where that little horizontal line is. And then before it said Smart View, but now it says the name of your um, whatever TV you're connected to. Mine's that Element 43-inch Element Roku TV. So to disconnect, let me just uncheck that and give it one second. And there you go. You guys are back in business.